Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload or program your code into the uh, Arduino Uno using the Atmel Studio 7. Introduction. Now, here is the, uh, the program or the code that I'm going to upload to the Arduino Uno. Now, the details uh, of this code uh, can be found in my previous video. Uh, that is uh, video 54. Uh, I have included the link to uh, that video in the description. So um, you will need, uh, in addition to the code, the Atmel Studio 7. So I'm going to assume that you have installed uh, Atmel Studio 7 and you got it running and if you happen to stumble across this video and you are new to the channel and you may have not watched my previous video um, I would uh, encourage you to go and watch uh, the uh, video 53 in my channel uh, that would show you uh, how to download Atmel Studio 7 and install it now, in addition to the Atmel Studio 7, you will also need to download the Arduino IDE version 2.0. Um, installing this uh, software is pretty straightforward and I've included the link to the Arduino IDE. See the description. Okay, so in addition to the software that I uh, just mentioned, that is the uh, Atmel Studio 7, uh, the Arduino IDE 2.0, you will also need some hardware for this particular exercise. Uh, here is the uh, picture of the components that we need. So first of all, we need the Arduino Uno. That's, that goes without saying. Then we need one uh, 220 ohm resistor, 220 ohm resistor, an LED, uh, it could be any color. I've chosen uh, red. Uh, you may want to choose some other color, that's okay. Then a mini breadboard. Um, this doesn't have to be a mi mini breadboard. I just have to have one uh, lying around, so I I'm using it and some uh, connecting uh, jumper wires all right so um, here is the circuit that we need to interface to the arduino uno uh, it consists of a 220 ohm resistor uh, and an led now uh, one end of one end of the resistor is connected uh, to the Arduino pin 8 and the other end of the resistor is connected to the anode of the LED and the cathode of the LED is connected to the ground of the Arduino Uno. All right, so here is the uh, wiring diagram for this uh, circuit to the Arduino Uno. So pin 8 is here. That goes to the one end of the uh, resistor as uh, shown in the circuit diagram. Then the other end of the resistor goes to the uh, anode of the LED, which is this part here. And the cathode of the LED goes to the ground of the Arduino Uno. So that is the setup. Here are some couple of pictures of the actual setup so here, this picture show the Arduino Uno uh, is connected to the uh, LED circuit, which is assembled on the um, mini breadboard in my case. And here is basically a, a, a close up of the uh, LED circuit. So this black uh, jumper wire is connected to the ground of the Arduino Uno and the other end is connected to the cathode of the LED and the LED is anode is connected to the resistor and the resistor is connected at the end of the resistor is connected to pin 8 of the Arduino Uno.
Now, uh, we are getting into uh, uploading the code now. To upload the code to the Arduino Uno, make sure your Arduino Uno is connected to your desktop or laptop. And then you need to have your Atmel Studio 7 uh, running and open up the uh, project or solution with the code uh, that you want to upload, like I've done here. And then what you need to do is go up to the uh, toolbar tool here and look for tools. Click on tools and then move down the, uh, the list of options and select external tools. Click on that and this uh, dialog box pops up. Now uh, in my case, I've already created the external tool, uh, which I call Arduino. Now, I'd like to demonstrate to you or show you how to create this. So I move over to Add, click on Add, and you will see this option called New Tool. Now, if you have not got anything uh, created or uh, in the first place, then you would see this option immediately. All right, so imagine that you don't have this Arduino option up here. You got this new to give it a name or uh, to the title. So I'm going to call this test, T-E-S-T. -E now move down the dialog box and you see command uh, box here and the other one is arguments now to create this uh, external to tool called test I need to fill this two up these two boxes up and this is where the Arduino Uno IDE 2.0 comes in okay so as mentioned a few moments ago we need uh, to have the Arduino IDE 2.0. So uh, I've started the uh, Arduino IDE 2.0 here. And what you need to do is you need to go to File, uh, scroll down to Examples, Basics, and then open up the Blink Sketch. Now I've opened my Blink Sketch, so I need to go find it here it is now once the bling sketch is up uh, i like to draw your attention to this box here which says select board now click on this down arrow now i have uh, set up this uh, ide 2.0 to use Arduino Uno and mine is fixed as COM3. Now yours might be different. All right, so select this board and then go back to the toolbar uh, and then look for sketch. Click on sketch and oh, before we do that, let go to file and go to preference. Scroll down on the file and look for preference. And then here, look for show VBOSS output during this part here. And you have two options. One is compile and the other upload. Now check on upload. Make sure that uh, option is checked. Then move down to OK, click on it. And then go back to the toolbar, toolbar again Look for sketch and this time select upload. And you see the output panel here and it says done uploading. Uh, and then what you need to do is scroll all the way up. All right. And look for this text here or, or message in the output box. Uh, it says uh, open quotes c colon slash users and so on now 
what you need to do is to uh, left click highlight the, oh, the entire message or text and right click and then copy hey so now that we have copied the text or the message from the Arduino ID 2.0 output panel uh, I paste that message onto a text editor now I'm using the notepad plus plus text editor you don't have to use notepad plus plus you can use any other editor so I paste the uh, message here now just before I go on to the, uh, the other details quick word this copy and paste uh, feature that uh, uh, that I've used with the Arduino ID 2.0 that feature is not available for the earlier versions of uh, Arduino IDE for example I know for sure it doesn't work with uh, version 1.8.19 uh, version 1.8.12 because I've used it and the, it doesn't allow me to copy the text so uh, you need to check the uh, uh, the version that you're using but i strongly recommend you use the uh, id 2.0 uh, i think that is more straightforward all right so let's get back to this part here now that we have copied the text here uh, first thing you need to do is to highlight this part starting at the beginning of the uh, text Go up to the part where it says AVR dude, close quote. Okay, copy that. Find a new line and paste it. Uh, first thing you need to do is take out the closing quotation and then add in dot exe and then go to the beginning of the line where you see the quotation. Take it out. And then what we do here is then copy this line. Then go back to the Atmel Studio 7. And uh, let me just clear this out first. All right. And then look at the command box. You go to the command box and you place it there. All right. And then make sure you check the use output window, apply. We're not done yet because we still need to take care of this arguments uh, box. So go back to the text editor. Now we need to go look at this other part of the, uh, the message. Uh, this is a long one. So from here, From here, what we need to do is to uh, copy that. Uh, just uh, be careful, uh, be patient. Right at the end, copy. Find a new line as we did, like we did before, and paste it now we start from the back of the message so here we take out the quotation mark all right now from the hex from this word hex the beginning part move backwards highlight it slowly right up to where it says c colon now remove that delete that all right now what we need to do in place of that deleted text we paste this text here just a minute let me get it right all right okay now i will supply you with this in the description right so copy that go back up here to this line where it says hex Put the cursor just before the hex and we then uh, paste what we've copied earlier all right which is this uh, dollar sign onwards 
Now what we need to do is to add in a quotation, double quote mark, double quotes, all right, and then go up to the target name part where, and then we need to add a dot before the hex. That's not done yet. And then just after hex, H-E-X, after the X, you add in a quote. All right. Now, still not done yet. Just be patient with me. Uh, go back to the beginning of this line. It's better to use this uh, scroll bar. Now, where you see my uh, a single quote, my pick the single quote out or double quote, sorry. And then immediately between the two C's, add in a open double quote mark. All right, so, uh, so it's minus C, quotes, C colon, and so on. So we now copy this entire line. and then copy go to at mel studio 7 in the arguments uh, box click on it right click again paste and we're done and coming back to this make sure this use output window box is checked apply and we are done Okay, so it's time to check out whether the uh, external tool that we have created uh, works. So here, uh, before we do that, let's take a quick look at, at the video. So here I have the Arduino Uno uh, connected to the red LED, uh, which is this red LED here. This red LED, by the way, is connected to the Arduino Pin 8. Now, I apologize for the quality of the video. I'm using my smartphone and maybe I need to invest in a, uh, in a uh, camera. We'll see. Now, let's go back to the uh, Atmel Studio 7. We go to build. We built the solution and it's successful. Now, uh, keep an eye on the uh, red LED on the mini breadboard so we go to tools scroll down and we have this test so watch out when i press uh, when i click on the test uh, look out for the two leds on the uno which will bl uh, blink flash briefly and the red led should be should come on yep and it works Okay, so we've come to an end uh, to this video. I hope you have found the content contents useful. I will look into more at Mega 328 assembler instructions in my uh, future videos. So until the next video, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.